Are you looking for something fun to do in Jamestown? Have I got the thing for you. This is Escape Rooms Jamestown. We are located at 100 East 2nd Street at the foot of Pine Street, right next to Lucille Ball Little Theater and Four Below Bar and Grill. Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm your game tech today. An escape room is a group event where you work together to find clues, solve problems, and perform mini tasks, all with the idea that you're going to escape a theme-based room. We have four rooms. Want to take a peek? Our first room is our Egyptian room, where you have to find King Tut's gilded box. I don't want to show you too much, but do you want to take a quick peek? Our next room is the boardroom. Has nothing to do with corporate America, everything to do with playing games. Here's a quick peek. Our signature room is Our Lady of Atosha. In this room, you're looking for sunken treasure. Our final room is our most difficult room. Are you able to find Arthur Crystal's last will and testament? He's an eccentric kind of guy. This room is very difficult. In addition to our four escapes, we have vintage arcade games, complements of Sherwood Arts, which you may play as a separate activity or add to the end of your escape. Escape rooms is a great activity for date night, friends, family, parties, and even corporate team building. If you'd like to include refreshments with your team building event, we work with Diana Scott at Studio D. Please take a look at our website, escaperoomsjamestown.com, for more information and answers to frequently asked questions. And keep an eye on our Facebook and Instagram pages for current specials. Escape Rooms Jamestown, where fun is guaranteed, escaping is not. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying this series brought to you by the Chamber of Commerce in Jamestown. Uh, we're having a lot of fun doing all these interviews, all these local attractors. It's been really great getting to know everybody and to share in their excitement for what they're doing around town. In this moment, we're bringing you with Shane Hawkins. Shane, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do, who you are. Hi there, thanks for having us on the show. This is pretty exciting. So I'm the Executive Director of Infinity Visual and Performing Arts. Uh, we're a local youth program that uses music, art, dance, and theater to promote positive change in kids. So private lessons, group lessons, performance opportunities, and all under one big 14,000 square foot roof. <laughs> that is a big, big roof. Uh, so these performance lessons, uh, they are anything from music to art to dance. There's a wide variety of what you're doing there. Yes, we have 40 instructors, so each has their own field that they're, they're involved in, and we give lessons in about 24 different art forms right now. So um, That's incredible. Great. Really just well-rounded. There's a lot of opportunities, that's for sure. And how long have you been doing this for? Sure. Infinity started in 1998. It was a group of um, community members that were working with really talented group of singers, and they wanted to get them out there performing. So Ron Graham and um, Carol Faison and some other um, local people, Mark Alpa, Bill Ward, uh, they just got together and created this program. And I, I heard about it about five years later when my kids were of an age that they would benefit. And I just fell in love with the program. So I worked with Ron for about five years and was his program coordinator. And then he, he did retire at that point. And, you know, they weren't sure what to do with the program. Ron was pretty visionary and dynamic. So, you know, maybe it was just a program under Ron Graham, but we really believed in the program and wanted to see it succeed and added art and dance and theater. And it's grown into um, a pretty substantial program at this point. I'm so glad it didn't close. <laughs> I would say at this point that you're, so far beyond wanting to just see it succeed, 
that you're you're to the point where you guys have grown so substantially, so largely that you guys. What was the offices like when you first started versus now? Because it's quite different. It's quite different. We've been in several locations. Uh, when I first heard about the program, it was in the what's now the Reg Studio Theater. So it was in one room, and they had one small room that they would give private lessons in. Um, it, was, it was very small. Then we moved across the street to where Law New York is now, and that was a larger space. And then we expanded in that space. Um, we ended up with 8,000 square feet there and outgrew that. And then we moved to the Lynn building where we are right now. And we're in the ground floor of the Lynn building and have 14,000 square feet and give about 13,000 private lessons a year. It's pretty crazy sometimes. That's huge. I'm and what, what keeps you guys going? What's, what's the why behind infinity? The students for sure. You know, it's, it's just so gratifying to see kids build empowerment and confidence. And not all of them are going to go on to do professional music, professional art. But the, the skills they learn here and the confidence that they gain and the, the feeling of empowerment that they have somebody in their corner, their instructor, and they can learn all these new things and then get out there and perform and have the community clap for them for that. It's, it's just special to see kids form friendships here that they might not have ever met those students because they're from a different school. We have 33 different schools that come here. So, you know, it's just a very unique situation. My kids benefited. I see kids every year that just, it changes their lives. And Jamestown in particular, I have always thought of as such a large music city. You know, we're yes. the Nashville of the North in my mind. And I've actually heard a lot of other people refer to it that way. And, uh, you know, Jamestown just, we love our music. And keeping the next generation going like this and giving the young children a safe space to grow and to have an output for their artsy side of the brain. You know, I think it's all just so huge. We're very lucky to have so many musicians and artists. I don't know how we'd get the instructors we have if we didn't have such a heavy load yeah. of fantastic musicians and artists around here. Thanks everyone for watching that video with Shane. We have Ashley with <laughs> us, who is the developmental coordinator at Infinity. And she's gonna go over everything uh, that they do there at, with a walkthrough. We're gonna we're gonna walk with her through there and take a tour of everything they have going on. So Ashley, are you there? Hi there. Hi Jake. Hi. Um, I am here at Infinity. This is our reception area and our receptionist Laura. Hi Laura. When our students come in for their lessons. They sign in here at the front desk, which uh, all their stuffs down here. Um, we have merch for sale and then our nice waiting room where our students will wait for their instructors. Um, during COVID, some of our waiting room is blocked off for safety, so everyone's spread out in here if they're waiting. We've got uh, our hallway back here leads to our staff office. Instructor mailboxes are back that way. And then down this hallway is where all of our lessons happen. This is the magic. Yes. <laughs> So in a normal year, we have a number of lessons in these hallways in these private rooms where um, guitar, singing, uh, violin, a number of lessons will happen in these rooms. Uh, during COVID, we've had to get a little creative. <laughs> sure. So we have some of our rooms. I don't want to interrupt their lesson too, too much here, but um, the rooms are connected. So... What happens is these cords on the floor here have amps and speakers and microphones in each room where the students can still see their instructor through the windows and sing in a way that um, is safe. So they can hear each other, they can see each other, and still have in-person lessons completely safely. Excellent. So you guys are being really COVID compliant over there. Yes, we are. And then we've got... Uh, traditionally, these are art rooms. We are also using them for lessons in person where we need to space people out farther. Excellent. I see drums. Yep. <laughs> and some more art lessons happening in here. And then down this way, we have our bigger rehearsal rooms. So. Um, normally we have a steel drum band 
Uh, right now we are not having group classes, but we hope to get that started back up as soon as possible. That's awesome. Yeah. And then down here, this is super cool. I'm not sure if this door, it is unlocked. Um, I was waiting for sirens to go off. <laughs> this is one of our rehearsal rooms that's bigger. And we also use this with the recording studio, Excellent. which is right through that window to do those uh, lessons in person, like singing, um, violin sometimes I believe happens this way where the instructor can still see their student on the other side of the plexiglass window, but this way they can uh, safely um, sing together without having to wear masks, thing like, things like that. I love all the vibrant colors and all the artwork on all the walls. And, and that's something that Shane has always worked hard on, I think, to keep that environment looking that way. When my kids attended yeah. Infinity, it was always such a great environment. It's, it's stimulating just to walk into the building. It is a very colorful and fun place to be. Absolutely. Um, down this hall here is where our arts cafe is. Um, when we're able to have events in person, this room gets filled with chairs and our students perform on our stage here. Great. Stage. Apparently we're set up for a drum circle. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got our wonderful stage sign sponsors back there. Um, we've got a number of different things that happen in here in a normal year. Right now, this is where our piano lessons are taking place. So we've got them spread apart. And then we also have our dance room. So right in here is where our dancers come for dance lessons. Um, if it's something that requires more space, we also have the dance floor over here. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, we have a full sound booth a cafe for during events. We've got a lot here. It's a very big space and our students really um, just really love being on the stage. We have done a few uh, performances during shutdown where we've had students safely come in one at a time and perform on the stage and then it's live streamed. Oh, so without an audience. Um, and then we've also done our quarantunes, which is students playing from their own home live. I love it. It is a wonderful place here. We've got a lot to offer. We are offering lessons in music, any instrument you could think of pretty much. We have art lessons, dance lessons, theater, singing, you name it, and we will find a way to teach it to you. Uh, we thank everybody over at Absolutely. You guys are awesome. Thank you.